My name is Marsha Benjamin. Um, I live here in Pasco, but I'm originally from the Caribbean. Awesome. Marsha, can you please share your uh, little, not little, testimony with us and how you got about your deliverance? Okay, so I, um, I always had this problem with um, isolation and, you know, solitude. And um, just last week or week before the last somewhere um we we were supposed to have a combined um group home group meeting and whenever that would happen whenever i was told that um the home group was going to be combined i would get an attack or you know i would just freak out and um didn't want to go can you tell us about a little bit of your feelings what were you feeling at that moment when you didn't feel like coming to a group of people? There was always a fear of rejection. Um, I would get in a crowd and um, I would just feel so alone, rejected, you know, like um, I was causing problems. I would, I would normally think that as long as somebody's associated with me, um, if something goes wrong, that it would be my fault. You know, even if I wasn't even a part of it. So all those feelings and then I just wanted to not be around people. And so tell us what happened and how you called your home group leader and told her about that you're going to stop coming to home groups altogether. So when, when, when she told me that, um, the, well, she texted me that we were going to have a combined home group. Um, I freaked out again. I was attacked again, you know, and um, so I texted her back. I told her, you know, um, I think it would be best if you continued with the girls and, and I not be a part of it. I just don't want to, to come, you know. Um, I would just prefer to not be there. Okay, and so how did you, uh, what happened next? How did you receive the deliverance? So I came to church the Wednesday night and Pastor Vlad was speaking about the rainbow promise. And when he, when he spoke about um, being, well, well, the floods that would come and destroy, you know, when he said that um, you might see the rain and you might see the wind, but that doesn't mean that it's going to flood, that you're going to be destroyed. Because God has promised that the Egyptians that you see today, that you will see them no more. And at that time, it was like the rains and the winds were like there at me. You know, and um, after I heard that message, I decided, you know what? I'm going to take my rainbow with me and I'm going to the combined home group. And I, I went and I felt so relaxed. Everybody there, um, it was like, that week was just a week of attack and, and people had gone through stuff and they were talking about it and I realized, you know what, I'm not alone in this thing. You know, the devil attacks everybody in different ways. Mine is just, he, he just tried to isolate me as he tried to do throughout my life and I went and I just know that I will be continuing with the home group. I will be going to combined home group and eventually I will be a home group leader. Come on, let's put our hands together. Awesome, awesome. Marsha, how do you feel right now when you come into the uh, setting where there is a, more than five or six uh, group of girls or people? How do you feel right now? Well, I, I, I feel like I'm actually fitting in. Um, for the past couple of days, I came to church and whereas I would just sit at my end of the pew, it was like I was forced to be in the middle, so I didn't have any choice. But you know what? It, it, it's not so bad being a part of a crowd and um, I actually feel good. <laughs> yeah. Praise the Lord. Marsha, can you please uh, say a word of advice, maybe for somebody who's struggling with the spirit of rejection or loneliness or they just can't be around people they always feel uncomfortable what can you tell them you know first of all and as the Lord told me you know if you're a part of the body of Christ you're accepted in the beloved we we have our issues but it doesn't mean that every time that a thought comes to our mind that it is actually so it is the devil flinging thoughts to your mind telling you you don't belong that you're not liked that people will reject you and all of that it's not necessarily the truth you know and um you're accepted in the beloved the Lord the the, the word of God said that 
where there is unity, the Lord commands his blessings. And you will find that when you have people backing you up in prayer, you know, just believing God for you, that stuff that you cannot do on your own, it will be accomplished because of that unity in Christ with others. Amen, amen. Thank you so much, Marshall.